Fox 9's Paul Bloom continues our team coverage. And Paul watched the body camera footage from two of the officers involved. Few people have seen this, and so Paul, tell us what you saw today. Well, first, Kelsey, these videos made publicly available in last week's defense filing to dismiss charges against Thomas Lay. Now, while those videos are technically public, the judge doesn't want to put them out there to poison a potential jury pool. So you had to be part of a small group uh, observation here at the courthouse uh, on Wednesday. And while we've read the transcript, these videos are something else. Millions have now watched the eyewitness video as Derek Chauvin kneels on George Floyd's neck. Officer body camera footage appears to capture Chauvin in that position for more than nine minutes. Floyd's family attorneys calling it torture. George said please numerous times. Had those police officers listened once, known that the right to breathe is liberty, George Floyd would be alive the videos pick up as former officer Thomas Lane approaches Floyd in the driver's seat of an SUV. Lane, drawing his firearm with no explanation initially, appeared to really frighten and agitate Floyd. Officers at the scene seemed to believe the suspect might be on drugs as he was foaming at the mouth and wasn't complying with orders as Floyd begged not to be killed and explained early on he was having trouble breathing and recently recovered from a case of the coronavirus. Eventually, officers get Floyd handcuffed as they order him several times to stop resisting, and he's moved to a seated position against an exterior building wall. Everything at that moment appears in order when Lane and partner Jay Alexander King, both rookie officers that day, attempted physically to get Floyd into the back of their squad. Here, the 46-year-old wants none of it, fighting them, repeating over and over that he is scared and claustrophobic, eventually worming his way in one door and straight out the other side. Chauvin, a much more senior training officer, has now arrived on scene and asks if Floyd, who is still handcuffed, is under arrest. And then the trio pins him face down, King on Floyd's back, Lane controlling his legs until the MS arrives. And it's interesting to note Lane's defense attorney has made the argument that he was deferring to a senior officer in the moment, that he helped with CPR and therefore charges against him for aiding and abetting should be dismissed. Also worth pointing out, the media is actually going to go to court as a, a singular entity next week to see if the judge would reconsider and release those body camera videos universally so we could share them with you. We're live in downtown Minneapolis tonight. Paul Bloom. Fox 9.